thank God I'm fly. When I wake up in the morning, when I wake up in the morning, so when I close my eyes, so when I close my eyes, I'm always on these streets, the soul to survive. Thank God I'm fly. When I wake up in the morning, when I wake up in the morning, so when I close my eyes, so when I close my eyes, I'm always on these streets, the soul to survive. Thank God I'm fly. I won't give up. I won't give up. I won't give up. I won't give up. What up, though? It's your boy DT and Deontay, the motivator, man. What's good, man? Listen, man, I'm super, super excited to see y'all today, man. I hope you had a phenomenal week. Hope you had an amazing weekend, and I hope you are prepared for the best week of your life thus far this year. For sure, it's going down. Listen, I'm getting ready for this 100-day challenge. I hope you're getting ready for this 100-day challenge. I'm looking for your email to come through right here to tell me what you're going to do so we can hold ourselves accountable. Let's go. This is about, man, oh my God, I'm excited. I'm super excited. I'm excited. I just need to hear from you. Make sure you email me what you're going to do. You know what I mean? If you got my number, call me, text me, whatever it takes to be when you see me. Just let me know. Whatever. Let's go. So, today I want to jump right into it. This is Motivational Mondays, man. This is your shot of espresso for the week to get you going. This is going to get you on a whole other level. Give you that energy that you need. Give you that push that you need. Give you whatever it is that you need. You can find it right here. Right here. And do me a favor. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, I don't know what you're waiting on. I don't know what you're waiting on, but just hit that button, that subscribe button, so you can make sure you never miss another Motivational Monday, another message, another push, another chance for inspiration, another way to get pushed and get motivated. Let's go. I'm excited. All right, boom. Let's get into today's message. First I am, then I do. I'm going to say it again because I want you to get this. First I am, then I do. Let me get in on you on this because I really want you to get this. First I am, then I do. All right, so what am I saying? I'm telling you that how you view what you do will always affect how you do what you do. If you see what you do as mediocre, you would do it in a mediocre way. But if you view how you do as important and as life-changing as it really is, then you'll do it in a way where it's life-changing. You'll do it in a way where it's top-notch, it's, it's, it's up there. It can only be done by you, but it's all in how you view what you do. Because once you view what you do, you become what it is that you're doing. You have, listen, listen. When I told my, when I felt my calling and I realized that what I was supposed to be doing was motivating, inspiring people and giving people the message for me, I began to understand that and then I became that. First I am, then I do. And what I mean by that is, okay, now that I have this title, now that I have this label, now that I have this calling on my life and I understand what it is, now I have to polish it up. I have to hone the skill. I have to get it in a way where I can deliver it in any way, anyhow. And so what that what that means is, I gotta pick up books and read, right? I have to, to you know, home what I got going on I got to create vision board so that way I can see where it is that I'm going and I can get there because first I am then I do I cannot push people or or have people be inspired by something that's not inspiring I can't push people to do something that I'm not doing this is not a trouble travel agent thing this is this is real life this is what it is first I am then I do how you view what you do will affect how you do what you do if you don't view what you do as important, you won't do it in an important matter, right? First I am, then I do. First I am a father, then I do what fathers do. A lot of times we have a lot of absent fathers in there because they don't view themselves as fathers, but they feel like they need to do what fathers do. So if you don't view it that way, you're gonna gonna do you're gonna do it sometime. You're gonna show up every now and then. And feel good about it because you don't view yourself as a father. But when you view yourself as a father and understand what it means to be a father or a mother or a brother or a sister or an employee or an entrepreneur or whatever it is that you're doing in your life. When you view it as amazing, you'll do it in an amazing way. But it's up to you. How you view what you do will definitely affect how you do what you do. When you realize that you're doing something not for you but for, for someone else. This is not for me. This is me spilling out what's inside of me for somebody else to catch it and, and get pushed to a whole nother level. Because it pushed me to a whole nother level to get it inside of me. 
when you practice and you do doing sports and you practice, you're not doing that for you. You're doing that for the next level. You're doing that for the process. You're not doing it for the fun of it. You're doing it for the process. What happens is something grows inside of you and pushes you in a way to where once you reach or reach the potential and you see something. Oh, my God. Listen, this is it's bigger than you. What you do is bigger than you. How you view what you do will always determine how you do what you do. If you view it in a big way, you would do it in a big way. It's your boy, man, DTM, Deontay, the motivator. I will see y'all next week. Make sure you email me and subscribe to the channel. I need to know what you're doing for this 100-day challenge, man. Let's go.